My name is Olaba Mijadimola. I am the CEO of Nail Pro Nigeria. At Nail Pro, we do nails, extension, we do wrapping, we do pedicure, we do manicure, we do lash service, we do microblading and semi-permanent lashes. Welcome to today's episode of Tales of Triumph here on Screen Sage TV. Tales of Triumph is a program designed to x-ray a course of action undertaken by individuals that have resulted in continuous progress for them. A legitimate, effective, an adaptable course that anyone who desires success can follow on their journey to greatness. We do hope you will be informed, motivated, and encouraged by the story of our guest today, as our utmost desire is to see you succeed in your chosen career. It all started over almost um, a decade ago when I was um, thinking of what to do. Then my sister had um, this uh, mini new studio. Whenever we are less busy, we just go there and we we'll we'll sit down there and we'll play with her. So there's this particular day, I was just watching her and I was just pick up interest in what she's doing and how she was attending to a particular client. And the lady saw me and said, she said, what's my name? I said, my name is um, Ademola. I said, do you do this? I said, no, I don't do it, but I think I know, I know how to do it. I said, you know how to do it? He said, yes, said, since your sister is busy now, come and assist her. Though I've been watching, but I've not really practiced um, nails, I've not even touched nail polish then. But I know, okay, what is this called? What is this called? Because I have been privileged to be with my sister who happens to have um, the nail studio. So when this lady said, uh, come, I know you can do it. So mm, while I, I look at my sister's face, my sister said, ah, come on, let's share now. Like, what does it mean? Go and do it. So I pick up the polish and then um, I started. I, initially, my hand was shaking, but when I did the first coat, and the second coat, I, I noticed that my hand become a bit uh, stable. Then after I finished with that lady, the next customer sat down on my, on my desk. And she said, I said, she said, yeah, you can. I, you, are you not the one that just finished doing this person? Like, Do my own too now. Then I polished her own nails too. Then to just polish. So I polished her own nails too. The first lady, when she was going, she, she gave me a tip. The other lady, when she was going, she gave me a tip. Ah. My sister was now looking at me. Ah. I don't understand. Are you the owner of this shop? Or I'm the owner of this, <laughs> I'm of this shop. So when I went on that day, I there's something inside of me. I feel okay. This, the, there's this smile on those ladies' face that actually gives me joy. Like okay, you see, ah, you see, then when, when they were going, they were just looking at their feet. They were happy. And I said, okay, this is what I want to do. Then I told my sister, I think I want to, I want to learn. So are you serious? I said, yes, I want to learn it. Then she says, okay, fine. Then in the evening, when I finish with what I'm doing, I'll go to her studio and I will assist her. At a point, maybe like after like one month, most of our customers won't allow her to attend to her again. They will say, okay, uh, where is Demola? Where is Demola? Where is Demola? And I find myself like, at a point, my sister will now can travel to Lagos and leave just me in the salon and this. And the business will run very fine. So I enjoy it. You, know, you see, you feel like a celebrity, and you say, hey, Mola, I want to come and do my name. You can call you. So I enjoy the fact, okay, when people come, it's not just like, it's not like a walk. Sometimes we have to talk while I'm doing, working on them. So you tend to share a lot of, they tend to share a lot of things with you. They share secrets with you. Right? And um, also you, you, you talk to them. So we, I'm not just like, I, don't, I feel like it's not just about, it's not about news. You feel there's more to the work than just painting news. How long have I been in this business? I would say professionally, I've been seven years in the business. Nail tech, to me, is more than just maybe fixing or taking care of your nails. Nail tech, to me, is um, a way of life. It's creativity, it's living. Because um, to me, I see myself as the same way a dentist is to the teeth. That's what um, a nail technician is to the nails. The only difference is just because uh, maybe here we don't have a line sensed body that have to give us line sensed before we can operate. Aside from that, nail tech is life to me. Okay, being a male and um, into nail business that is dominated by women, initially um, it was something that maybe bothered me. Like I feel okay, what people say is a man's is a woman's job. Why is a man doing it? But along the line, I found out that uh, it's something that. Uh, that I love doing and I enjoy doing it. So why should I be bothered about uh, what people will say? 
And most times I find out, okay, even if we are three and I'm the only man, there are the most of the clients that even female will prefer me to attend to them. So that alone, it overrules whatever um, negative thoughts I have about the job. Does being a new tech change my personality? I would say no. I see myself more like a, a doctor now because when my clients come, I relate with them not, uh, not just as a professional. I relate with them like a doctor who is attending to a patient. Most especially when they come, before you can attend to them, there's a proper consultation you have to give to them. So I see myself acting like a man that I am. So I'm not, uh, it doesn't change whether I'll start <laughs> doing my hand like this or doing my leg like this. So I think I enjoy the job. It doesn't change my personality. Do I have formal education as a new tech? I would say yes, because after I learned from my sister, and I am at a point I feel there are better ways to do this. I want to learn more. So I enrolled for a job in an, high, in an upscale salon. So when I got the job and I told them what I can do, then they brought in some um, experts, I think from Germany then, to come and uh, train us. So I found out that, okay, the way I've been doing it, there are other ways and easier way to do the job. So far, have there been low moments in my career? I would say yes. There have been a couple of uh, low moments. The kitchen hasn't um, given me a meal without, having, without me having to light the stove or light the gas. But because of the love you have, genuine love you have for the job, you would keep on striving. And that has really paid off. Do I see myself um, retiring from this? I would say no. Uh, because um, the people, the system, the structure, and the efforts I put on a daily basis to make um, this business or this enterprise run, I believe um, even when I'm no longer active, the business will still run. So to me, it's a way of life and um, I do not see myself retiring. Have there been any awards? Yes, there have been a couple of awards. There's this particular one, I remember it was in Lagos by uh, Lake Shat, where we, um, new technician, compete for a particular prize. I won the second round runner-up, and um, Montessori Nigeria was the sponsor of that particular team. I was only doing my thing, I was just having, having fun that day when we were doing the competition. I never knew that, okay, I can be the second runner-up. But that alone, it means a lot to me. Do I consider myself famous? Yeah, I'm famous in this industry. What does my typical day look like? Well, it all depends. If it's my working days, we look at the appointment we have for the day and um, how well we can meet up with the appointments. And if it's a day that um, is maybe my half days, well, I, I try to unwind. Sometimes I go to gardens to just um, have a little bit. I go to um, lakes just to reminisce on um, how I can um, do it better. What does excellence and hard work mean to my business? It simply means um, consistency, perfection, and uh, paying attention to details. How will I describe business in Nigeria? It's not easy running a, a business in this part of the world. But sometimes um, the cost of running a business can be more than the cost of investment itself. For instance, you can pay a shop, maybe for a 1.5 million naira. You might end up buying maybe a generator of 500,000 naira, and you might start running a four on that same generator. You might find out that okay, the cost of running that business is more than the cost of you setting up the business itself. So it's usually very frustrating. So aside from that, again, because there's no regulatory body uh, backing up this job here in, in Nigeria. So it's very difficult for them to, for people to actually differentiate people who really know what they want because they are not um, licensed. In the developed country, there are level of education that you need to acquire and there are schools for new detection that you need to go. And after then, you, there will be some exams that you need to take before you can be uh, given a license to practice as a professional new technician. But in this side of the world, we don't have anything like that. We don't have anything backing us up. So anybody can just wake up and decide to become a new technician. And everybody wants to um, ship 
you will find out that some people are using a less quality product and you, you are buying a good and expensive product. They say good things are not cheap and cheap things are not usually good. If anybody comes to me that um, they want to learn um, how to make this or he or she wants to become a new technician, I just ask them the reason why they want to do the, the why they want to learn. And if um, they have a genuine interest, well, I train them because they're part of a um, new pro that um, deals with um, academy. We have the part that has to do with services and we have the part that has to do with um, training and we also have the part that has to do with products. So if people like that um, come, we send them to um, the new pro academy so they can acquire uh, enough knowledge on how to become um, a professional new technician. How do I service my customers? 90% of my clients are female. So over the years, I've um, learned to study their temperament. So we try to put that into consideration when we're dealing with them, you know, so that we can get the best of them. Because if you get a customer angry, you can lose 10. And if you win a customer, you can actually gain 100. So we try as much as possible to make sure that, okay, any customer that is leaving her table or that is leaving her petty share, that is leaving her door, they are going out with a smiling face so that they can also recommend us. Why should anyone want to patronize Neopro? It's because um, Neopro is different, because we pay attention to heavy details. We don't just do this. We are therapists, we are psychologists, we are doctors. So we try to um, bring in technology into beauty so that um, the work won't just be faster, it will be better, and we can have a um, chance of taking more customers. How will I encourage a business owner? If you are running a business in Nigeria, I know it's um, somehow very difficult out there, but with a proper plan and the right people in place, the sky is your limit. Don't just give up. It took me more than three years for, for me to um, break even, but now, today then we are enjoying it now. So I will urge you, when things seem very rough, go back to your master plan, the reason why you started that business. What are the things you saw? What are your, those dreams? Those things that you already env envisage and how you wanted the business to look like. Those glorious future that you, you, you have for that business. Go back and look into it, into it and there will be something that you feel okay, that you should do. That when you do that, it's just like it's a proper, it's a normal formula. When you, once you do that thing and you get it right, things will start, start working. It might take time. It might require you to um, get um, training. It might require you to get some maybe funding. If you have maybe if somebody who is doing the same business with you and don't see that person as a competitor. Sometimes I travel so as far as maybe legal, I travel, I'll travel just to ask my fellow um, new tech, okay, what is this? What are the products you are using? What are the things that I invoke? What are these things that, what are the challenges that are also happening? So when we share those kind of, um, when we share ideas, we'll be able to find a balance. I'll be able to, okay, when I come back to my place, we'll be able to, okay, apply those things that you learn. Before you start complaining, okay, business is not good. Have you done your own best? Is that your best? Do you think it's your best? I had one issue one time like that. I was working in a client. The client is a new client, is a new uh, customer. And when she walked in, she said, I want to say a particular service. I said, yes, we do it. So when this lady came in, she came in with some beautiful, beautiful products. Honestly, I've not seen those products before. But I, she said, I said, Madam, I, I, these products, I've not seen them before. I don't know how to, how to use them. I have to be honest with you. She said, don't worry. I will show you how they've been using them on me. So she said, okay, this is what you do with this. This is what you do with this. This is what you do with this. But most of those products, they were not labeled. So you couldn't literally read them what is on the body. So she said, I mean, this is what they do, this is what they do. And by the time I used those products, this way she told me or she, she advised that I use. In fact, it was something, the work was very easier. Just by, by those little, that just little, uh, I was open, that, okay, I want to learn. So you should work on yourself first before you start complaining that, okay, this business I'm doing is not working for me. When I had low moments, I look within and I ask myself honest questions. That what is what, what could be the reason? So I try to I get my pen and I get my book of, uh, my paper and I start jotting things down. Then I decide to open for some class. I register from some class online. So I pay for those classes. 
then my tastes for products become very different. After the training, I decided to do some level, some sort of restructure, and I did um, a new marketing, and I also did um, rebranding. So I project my service out there, and we, by the grace of God, things are not the way they used to be. Will I regret um, running a new studio as a property business? Yes, it is a very lucrative business. But before you venture into it, as every business is, you must learn a business before you venture into it. If you want to become, if you want to be a new technician, the first thing is to train from professional on how you can become a, a new tech. You also learn the business part of the business, because it has a business part. You have to the management part of it. You should be able to know how to differentiate uh, uh, products from services because eventually you get up to stock for products. So when you do those services, you should be disciplined enough to understand, okay, this is this part of the money is for products. This part of the money is for services. This part of money is for rentals. You don't just make the money and just consume it because if you feel another one will come the next day. Those are the things, those are one of the problems that we have with um, people in, the, in, the, in this field. They assume that okay, the work is the everyday work. When they make 10,000, Phew, the next day they'll go to a club and blow it off. Uh -huh. So, but if you understand the business part of it, you'll be disciplined. Then the next one is the customer relationship part of it. You can't get clients if you don't have a good um, relational skills. Then those skills will help you relate with your clients, with your staffs, with whoever is around you. Because people actually, those people are the people that actually sell you out. Because one will tell one, if you are good to one, one will tell one, the other one will tell another. But if you are bad to one will tell one, the other one will tell another. So that's how, it, that's how it is. How do I get clients? Most of my clients, I get them through referrals. That they are, God has blessed me with very, very good customers um, with the heart of God. These days, you hardly see, okay, you open a studio and somebody just walked in and say, I want to do my news. It's not like before again. Aside from um, referrals, we use the power of social media to also um, get clients like Instagram, TikTok. We have an account on Facebook and um, Twitter. So we get bookings from there and it has been really very helpful. Where do I see myself in the next five years? In this industry, I see myself as um, not just an influencer. I'm looking forward to where we can um, rehearse with the government, where nail tech can be a course that it can have a curriculum in them. Um, our universities. So I'm not just seeing myself as a new, I'm seeing myself like a professor now. In the next five years, I will have my own lines of products. I will also have my own academy. And I will also have chains of um, studios across there, not just limited to Nigeria, Africa, but outside, outside Nigeria. My final word is um, anyone who wants to venture into um, the heart of a new tech, our advice is you need to have passion for this job. Is that passion that will wake you from work? Is that passion that will take you to work? Because you are excited, you really love what you are doing. So when you, once you do that thing, you will feel as if um, you are getting paid for having uh, fun. Do you understand? So you need to actually, you need to love what you do. And then um, the sky is your limit. We are sure you can juxtapose the story of our guest today with other stories of successful people who you must have heard. They are usually driven by curiosity, which gives birth to vision in them, and by sheer passion and consistency. Even in the face of opposition, they succeed against all odds. Until we come your way again with another interesting episode of Tales of Triumph, we urge you to please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button so you don't miss any of our interesting episodes. From us all at Screen Sage TV, we say bye for now.